Hi folks, uh, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Cracker321. Boom. Um, as you can probably see, I'm in a relative's kitchen. I've done some of my videos from this same area. Um, I'm actually going to be reacting to a scene out of Spider-Man No Way Home. And I'm going to do my best to be really careful how I upload this because I still have two strikes on this channel. And the first one won't be lifted to February 13th. Um, this is actually the final scene in Spider-Man No Way Home. He gets a room. He really is all by himself. Gets a new suit. And for the first time, um, our hero is truly alone um you know mary jane is out there his best friend is out there but they don't even know who he is and um i think we can all relate to things like that i think everybody in his or her own life one time or another um have have felt alone i know for me i feel like that sometimes and um it's definitely a burden to bear it really is so um without further ado um let's just check this out i'm definitely gonna stop and pause this this is about a minute 41 seconds so i'm definitely gonna be pausing it and you know been picking it up and let's hit play and if you're interested and you want to skip this introduction to my reaction i'm coming up on the two minute mark play now that's the landlord don't be late first of the month yeah you can always tell <laughs> landlords especially in new york city you can see it in his face the hurt the pain let me pause it right there. That's at 20 seconds. Um, it's really hard to tell what he's thinking. Because even though he's alone, there has been a burden lifted off of him. He does, um, you know, he, he feels relieved in a way. Because his friends are no longer in danger. Um, the girl that he loves is no longer in danger um he lost his aunt may um by now everyone knows aunt may passed and um you know that was that was a chromatic scene and um the, the movie had a lot of good moments it was really well written it really touched the heart uh it was more than just a superhero movie in my opinion um he really, um, he really lost everything. He truly is on his own. The way Tobey Maguire Spider-Man and Andrew Garfield Spider-Man have faced, he now is truly on his own because even his friend Tony Stark and mentor, he's gone. So, let's continue. Hit play. I love the subtle music in the background, the piano music. You see him moving in, you know. You see him put a picture up, but you don't know of what it is. Pause it right here. This is at the 42nd mark. I really like how he has the Emperor Palpatine Lego figure. Because um, that actually belonged to his best friend, Ned. And... Um, that really is a that really is an amazing feat of courage. You care about people so much that you're willing just to let them all go so they can have a normal life. They don't have to be burdened with what you're burdened with. And um, it hits the heart. I, I, this movie is very special to me because I took my daughter to see it. And me and my daughter really loved it. And um, I'll always remember that time. 
if nothing else, I'll remember, hey, I took my 11-year-old daughter to see this. And, um, you know, as a parent, you know, that hits home. <laughs> it really does. It hits home. Uh, let's continue. Uh, play. Yeah, he's staring out the window and stuff. Has um his own sewing machine, you know, the new costume, which is really cool, right out of the comic books. It really is amazing. Pause right here. This is about a minute, ten seconds. That that's right out of the old comic books from the seventies and eighties with John Romita and John Romita Jr who were a father and son artists who drew Spider-Man. Oh my God, it must have been for years. I mean, Spider-Man is so iconic. He even had his own comic strip in the Daily News on Sundays. And man, I wish I kept those. That would be so cool. I think there's books out there that have the whole collection. It's like two or three volumes. It always started out with you see Spider-Man lifting a bus. And then it would go into the story. But, um, again, it just, it takes you back home. It really does. It's going to be interesting to see if Tom Holland does come back. Uh, the latest news I heard was with Andrew Garfield. Supposedly, the plan is they're going to introduce Garfield in Venom 3. I don't know. I don't really know how to feel about that, uh, guys and ladies, because Venom was a good idea, but they kept trying to make it funny. And I saw Part 2, and Carnage was cool, but... It didn't blow me away. I actually saw a clip of another Marvel film, The New Mutants, and that blew me out of the water because the, the scene that I saw, they had like these Slenderman characters, no eyes, big teeth like the Joker, dressed in some type of club outfits going after the mutant kids. And, and that is something I remember very well but um it just shows that he's on his own and um he made a costume nothing high tech anymore regular singer sewing machine and now he's on the rooftop on the rooftops i should say you know getting ready to swing uh, let's hit play <laughs> This was really cool. You can see how the blue in the costume is a metallic blue. And I really like that. And he's over Rockefeller Center. Pause it right there. Minute 25. And um, he's just doing what he has to do. You know, um, it was a really damn good film. I mean, this will go down as one of the best Spider-Man films they did. Whether Tom Holland comes back or not, you know. And if there's talks about him not coming back, it's probably because he had a three-picture deal. Not to mention he was in the Avengers 2. He was in Infinity War. So, I mean, he's done this character for a few years. So, I'm sure he's fulfilled his agreement. So, but, um, again with the costume, you notice the red, you notice how the white of the eyes is really, really white. But the thing that stands out is that metallic blue sheen to the costume. You know, it's kind of like, if I had to compare it, I remember, this shows you how old I am, with RoboCop in 87. When they first showed RoboCop, and now he had like this blue metallic finish to his armor. That's what it reminds me of. So, um, it's pretty cool. 
Uh, let's hit play. This is actually called the final swing. And that's really about it. You know, on um, I, I I haven't really done a lot of reactions to Spider-Man. Honestly, ladies and gentlemen, and um, to all the subscribers, um, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to post this successfully. Hopefully I will. I try to break it up as much as I could. And um, on that note, hey, I'm still hanging in there. Uh, I've had my own um, personal stuff I've dealt with, a uh, family member getting, you know, the 19, and um, she's bouncing back, I hope, and um, everything else. Uh, the movie came out at the right time for a lot of people, and when I took my daughter to see this, the theater was jam-packed. It was crowded. People didn't care, had their mask on, and they were enjoying it. So, um, this is about uh, 11 minutes long between my introduction and my reaction through it. Um, hope you folks enjoy it. Uh, I enjoyed making it. Uh, thanks to the two newest subscribers, I now have 60 subscribers, and um, I really appreciate all the support. And, um, Feel free to leave a comment, leave a like. If you're a subscriber, hit the bell icon, select always. You'll always know when something new is uploaded. And, um, of course, I'm on social media. If you go to my YouTube homepage and click on the banner on top, it has all my links. And um, if anyone's interested, my new YouTube URL is www.youtube.com forward slash letter C forward slash cracker 321. And of course, I'm on Instagram at Ron402513. I'm on Facebook um, forward slash way2712. I'm on Twitter at Crow with an E one one seven zero zero, and you can definitely find me on TikTok at Cracker three two one Boom. Uh, I think that's about it. Five different platforms. Um, thanks for taking the time to check this out. If you do, and um, thanks for your support, and um, thanks to all the people who like my videos on TikTok. Um, you guys really rock too. You've been very supportive. Take care, enjoy your Sunday, and um, see you soon. This is Cracker 3, 2, 1.